Yo, what up? This is Hot Sick with Funk Volume, giving a shout out to Hard Knock TV. Yeah. Man, I hate rap, but if the shoe fits, wear it. I become a freak of nature, all the kids stare. Who walk around bumping raw with the shit blaring, saying fuck school and dropping out like a miscarriage. I'm embarrassed, and I'm ashamed I played a part in this devilish game, making your common sense perish. But it's been three years since you, you put out the last album. Mm -hmm. uh, I know last time when we talked about putting out, uh, uh, I think it was Illmai and Hobson Five, you, you talked about being, being a little anxious because you didn't yeah. know how people were, were going to respond to yeah, that. Yeah, do, yeah. do you feel like that's coming around with, with the album or do you feel like you're just going to let it go? And, um, and just... um, yeah, when, you know what's funny about the album? When, when I'm, and I don't know if this happens to every artist, but when you're making an album, you're like, hell yeah, I'm about to kill the fucking game. Oh, this song is sick. Woo, that beat. Oh, you're like, you're so hyped. And then once it's finished, it's like the moment of truth and all the thoughts, you start thinking like, oh my God. I mean, I know the album's ill, but... What if people don't like it? Or what if, what the fuck? It, it just happens naturally. We're like, oh man, it's, it's about to drop like one month, and then, damn, what? If, and then you, and then you start going through, it, and then you start almost like, you you get so nervous where you start questioning songs like, oh man, I, I don't know about that song. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have wrote that, or maybe I should have said something different, or fuck, maybe maybe I should have made more songs that were more life songs, or maybe I should have made more songs that are more raw. But but then at the end of the day, you just gotta be like, nah. I was cool when I was making that. I might have no problem with this shit, so fuck it. it it's just that it's, it's a little thing like cold feet, and some people say it happens when you're about to get married as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's just it, it it's happened to me a couple times. I'm like, oh man, like there there'll be some days where I'm like, this album is fucking sick. Ah, I give myself props, and some days I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know. This shit might be kind of whack, man. This shit might be kind of fucking whack. Like I don't know if I'm feeling this shit. It, it, it's weird, but um. But then, I, like I said, I just remember how I felt when I'm making the songs. And that happens to me because, like, I've been hearing the album every goddamn day for almost a damn year. Like, I've heard every song a billion times. And we, and people don't like hearing songs a billion times. By the, by the hundredth time they heard it, they're like, oh, that's, that's some old shit. I remember that shit first came out. That shit was dope. Now, it's just you don't, you don't fuck with it no more, and you got to rest, rest on it for, like, a year, and then go back and listen to it, and it's dope again. That's kind of how I feel with my album, where it's just like, I've, I've, I listen to it everywhere. When I drive to the mall, when I drive to the gas station, when I go pick somebody up, go to the airport, when I'm on the airplane, I'm just bumping it. And, and now it's just like, it almost even feels like there's 18 songs on the album. It feels like it's only five. When I listen to it, I'm like, I'm at the end already? Fuck, I'm like, man, this bullshit ass album, man. I can't even, like, I, I don't know, it, but it's just because I've heard it so much. But That's a good time. There's 18 songs on it, it feels like five. It's, it's a bad time when there's five and it feels like 18. <laughs> That's in the problem, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. it's so, um, but yeah, the songs are dope, though. Your real nigga talk seems bogus. A real nigga don't brag about being real as long as he knows it. And his future doesn't seem hopeless. A real nigga stays out of jail, handles shit, and he keeps focused. You talk about uh, getting arrested last year. Mm -hmm. uh, can you uh, talk about wh what happened and, and uh, how, how just being in jail just kind of like made you think about shit? Dude, that was like right after I dropped that ill mind. Five two, where I just talk about um, <laughs> real niggas stay out of jail. And then I went to jail, and everybody got on me because of that. And you know what? It's it kind of. Well, I'm not gonna say I regret saying that line, but it made it made me wiser. Now I understand that. You know, I, I understand things on a whole new level now. To where, dude, like when I after I released the Ill Mind Five thing, I was in my purest form ever. I didn't cuss. I didn't do anything. I was just like. I was just like walking around. I, f I felt like I was an angel, and I, I didn't not I didn't think I was better than other people, but I was just trying to only spread positive energy. People came up, I gave them a hug, I smiled, everything was cool. I was I was outside in front of a um, my show, signing an autograph or taking a picture with a fan, a girl who came up, and I was nice about it. And and I just finished breaking up a fight because these dudes were getting mad about to punch each other's head off, and I was like, yo man, it's all cool because one of the dudes were. He got his time cut where, where, to where he wasn't going to be able to perform that night, and the promoter or something happened. And I was like, yo, dude, it's all good. Don't get mad at the promoter. You can, you can go 15 minutes into my set. It's all love, man. And, you know, I was just spreading positive vibes. Like, yo, man, don't even trip. Everybody shook hands like, oh. And he was like, man, you cool, man. That's dope as hell, man. Everybody left on a good note. No fight happened. And then a girl came up after that, said, can she have a picture? I took a picture with her. Um, my business partner, Dame, he had the camera about to take the picture. A cop rides by on his bike, like, everybody move, watch out, whatever, and he, he just kind of almost hit us, and then he, then like a minute later, he came back, and he's, he stopped and put the little kickstand down, he's like, didn't you hear what I said, guys? And then and we're like, nah, what, um, I don't know, we don't know what you said, and then he's, he's like, I told everybody to clear the sidewalk. And then he had an attitude when he was saying it already. And so me and this girl 
are in the same exact place. So whatever he's mad at, he's mad at he has to be mad at both of us because we will be guilty of the same exact crime. So he he gets up off his bike. He's talking to both of us at first. He's like, you guys didn't hear me. I just rode through on the bike. You didn't see me come through. And like, yeah, we saw you, but we didn't hear you say that. Get clear the sidewalk. And we're just standing on the sidewalk. And we didn't know that was a bad thing. And then so I was mainly talking. And then he starts looking at me. He's like, so you saw me come through. And you didn't clear the sidewalk. And you didn't hear me. I was like, no. And then I'm, I'm kind of looking at him like, what's going on here? Like, are you serious right now? Like, I'm on the sidewalk. There's nothing even going on. And then he's, and he looks at me. He's like, um, He's like, you know, you know, you're breaking the law right now, right? And then, it, right when he said that, my heart dropped. And then I, I saw a look in his eye where it was like that. It was like a, it's like a racist twinkle, like you know, you're breaking the law right now. It's like, ding! I'm being racist, motherfucker, you nigger. And I was like, and, and my heart dropped, but I was like, what? I, I kind of had a little smirk on my face, like, are you serious right now? Like I was like, I don't know how I'm breaking the law. And he's like, oh, you think it's funny, huh? You think it's funny right now? You think this? And he, he was he's talking to me in, in a low a low tone, and I'm like. I don't think anything is funny at all right now, sir. And he's like, pulls out the handcuffs and just only arrests me. Literally only arrests me. And I did nothing at all. I And everybody saw I did nothing at all. Even my business partner, like, there's some dudes who get arrested where they're talking shit like, nigga, fuck, y'all cops like, can't do shit to me, nigga. Nah, fuck that. And they get arrested because they're just being too rowdy and too crazy and like, and saying shit to insult the cop. And then the cop ends up arresting him. I did nothing. I was even telling, I was like trying to be so cool and friendly and this dude just arrested me. He didn't arrest the girl. And I'm the only black guy right there. He didn't, he didn't arrest nobody else. He arrested me and he was talking to me and I was polite, didn't say anything. Why would he arrest me? Why would he put me in handcuffs in front of the, in front of all my fans who were right there they could see? Why would he do that? And then the lady even came out, it was a white lady, she ran out, she was like, please, please don't arrest him. He didn't do anything at all. He, he was just taking a picture with a fan, please. And she, he just ignored her. He's like, no. And she was like, please, all those people in there, they're going to be really upset and we pay a lot of money for this. Please don't. And he, he looked at it. He looked at the show. When the lady said that I was the headliner, he looked as if like he was thinking about it, like, hmm. And, and the look on his face was like, uh, those are all his fans, huh? Hell yeah, I'm taking this motherfucker to jail. Like, and then he just arrested me. He got on the walkie-talkie to all the guys. They all came. And not, and, and you know, there's regular arrests where you can kind of, okay, he may have had a bad day. These fools, when they arrested me, I was talking to them. I'm like, it's okay because, you know, Jesus knows I didn't do anything bad and I'm a good person at heart and I, I did nothing wrong. So I, I, I'm only here to enlighten these people and, and make sure that their lives are better and put them on a good route. I'm, 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 I actually help these people. I actually get them out of their hard times. And you're trying to take down the person who's actually giving these people hope. That's that's that that's so foul. That's so out of pocket. That's so foul. I was telling them that, and then they just didn't care. And then they put me not only they didn't put me in the back of the police car. They put me in a little box, in the back of a, a back of a truck. So it looked like a little doggy thing that you would take a dog in. And they put me in in a, in the back. And I had to literally put my head between my legs and crouch down in there. And the shit was like that small. So I'm just my my back started hurting. I was in there for like 30 minutes. They didn't give a fuck. And I was like, why would they put me in this little tank? Like, this is like, I started crying in there. I was crying. I was crying because it was, they took, I, I wasn't a human anymore. I was, a, I was an animal. I, I couldn't, I couldn't get myself out of the situation. I couldn't turn into the Hulk to break the, tr the truck open. I couldn't call anybody. I couldn't scream for anybody. It was just, and, the, and it, it, it hurt me because they put me in that tank. Like, why would you put me in the tank? I can understand a regular arrest, throw me in the back of the police car in a small ass tank to where, like, if my mother saw that, she would have been crying. She would have been like, oh my God, why, why are you guys doing that to my son? Like, putting him in this tank. What did I do to be in this little tank? And then, um, it's just like, wow. So in, in my head, I was, I was crying. I was like, man, this is some fucked up shit, man. Fuck America. Fuck this stupid shit. That's fucking racist. This dude's, this, oh, I was just so mad. I was so mad. I was like, if I was the Hulk right now, I would kill this guy and his family. I would turn the Hulk and go Hulk smash his whole fucking family. And just be like, yeah, you're going to die because your fucking dad and your fucking husband did this shit to me. And it's his fault. I was thinking crazy shit. I was mad. I was like, so it doesn't matter if you're, it doesn't matter if you, if you're breaking laws are being harmless, you're going, if you're like, sometimes in situations, if you're dark skinned, you're gonna, if you're black, you're going to jail, period. It doesn't fucking matter. And, 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 and you know, sometimes it doesn't matter if you're black, whatever, it, it can, you can just go to jail. It's, it, they make the rules. There's no, there are, there's a little rule book that they need to go by, but at the end of the day, if they want you to go to jail, you're going to fucking jail and they're gonna treat you like shit. And when I went in there, dude, I saw, I was like, 
I, I saw everybody in there. Everybody looked exactly like me. Shorts on, a little mini afro, a white beater. And we all looked exactly the same. And I was like, what the hell? Like, I don't see no white people in here at all. I just see a bunch of dark skinned black dudes in here wearing white beaters. And I'm like, what the fuck? And we, I, I'm not even joking when I say this. We all looked exactly the same, wearing the same type of outfits. And I was like, they just put me in here and I'm just another nigga on the fucking list now, another number in here. And they were tr disrespecting me in there. Get over here. And, and, and you know, I've been in jail before in the past, and, but I, I deserved it last time. I didn't deserve it this time. And they just didn't give a fuck. And it's like, man, it doesn't matter if you're Satan or Jesus, you're gonna, go to, you're gonna get fucked over regardless by this, this crooked ass system. You can go kill somebody, you can not kill somebody. You can go steal something, don't steal something. If they catch you when the cop's having a bad day or he wants to be fucked up, you're going to jail, period. I didn't do shit to go to jail. That shit, it still makes me mad to this day. I didn't do shit. I'm not even joking. I added extras on it. I didn't cuss at this fool. I was completely humble and I went to jail. Missed the show. Fans were mad. I don't know if they got the, I doubt they got the money back. He just fucked the night up for no fucking reason. That's crazy.